In this video, I'm going to be um, writing the program for the NIM game, starting with the outline that we outlined in a previous video, um, and then and typing it um, and actually getting it to run. Um, we're going to start by typing in the cell the entire outline as comments, and that's going to be our guide. Um, so something like um, set player to one. Um, set the initial state and I'm starting each line with a pound sign to make sure that it's a comment and that's going to be ignored. I'm going to get uh, a valid move and then update the state, possibly show the state at, uh, at some point, check the win status which could be kind of a win, lose, stalemate. In NIM there's no stalemate but other, other, other uh, other games there may be, um, and then switch the players. So so two to one, one to two. Okay. So we go back up here. I'm going to uh, um, in the second cell. I just executed that. This is where I'm going to be my kind of my playground. So to test things as I go along. Many things won't need to be tested. So I'm going to start with uh, setting the players equal to one. That's just simply making a variable called player and setting equal to one. Uh, the initial state for NIM is the number of objects. So in this case, we're going to start with 21, where, where the variable is not entirely clear. I like to put comments in to kind of describe what it is. Now we have to get a move. So we can do something like uh, um, input what is your move. And just to show what what that does, when I go, uh, I'm going to execute it down here. It asks for a move. I can do three, and then now I can check to see that my um, variables. You know, if I give a different different, if I give a two, I can go back here and now move is equal to two. So that 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 gives me a a, a move. It doesn't check to see whether it's valid or not. But it does uh, um, check to see. Uh, it does uh, um, get the, the move. Update the state is easy because we're just taking away that many that many uh, objects. Show the state is a print. You know the number of objects is now state. Um, we're going to. Let me skip check win status for just a second. Switch players. We can make an if statement something like if player is equal to one, then set player equal to two. Otherwise, player is equal to one. So we just so we just swap them uh, with that. Checking the win status is something like the following. If the state is equal to one, if there's only one object, then um, then this is the this is a, a kind of a print oops, um, print player player wins. So the, so it'll, so it'll put the uh, um, uh, print the player name uh, whatever number that happens to be and tell them that it wins and then we might switch players. We're going to want to end the end the game. Now after switching players we're going to want to you know, kind of go back to the valid move line. So that's one of the, you know, at the end of this turn switching players we go back to the valid move line. So how do we do that? The easiest way to do that is to do the following. Make a a loop while true. That's going to be an infinite loop. It's going to go on indefinitely. Uh, Put all the lines in that block, and then when the game ends, I can print, I print game is over. That's a period. Um, and here, the the only way we're going to break out of this loop is by breaking in this. So so what this is doing is it's saying. Um, and I'm going to do that. Okay. Um, if the state is one, 
then we're going to print the player wins and we're going to break out of this while loop. Otherwise, it's going to get down here and redo the loop. And I'll keep executing this, this code block indefinitely until, um, until the, the, the game is over. So I can run this now and play through a few things. Um, and then it says, what is your move? Oh, I have a problem here because I should probably print out the initial number of, uh, um, of objects. So I'm going to interrupt the, the kernel to kind of stop the, the, the program from running. Go back here. Um, print up the number of, of, of objects and then, uh, um, and, then, and, then, and then do that. Okay. No turn. Okay. What is your move? Oh, well, I'm player one. I'm not even sure what player I am right now in my move. Okay, so let me go back and add that because it seems like we'd want to know at the move, say, player, player, Um, yeah, just do, just, do, just print the player uh, um, there. So, do that. let's go back and look at that. Player 1, where's my move? Okay, 3. Good, now it's 18. 2, that works. 1, that works. 3, 3, 2, 3. Uh, player 2 takes 3, leaves player 1 with just 1. Player 2 wins, game is over, and it stops. Good. Okay, and I can get rid of these lines, these extra cells. We don't need them. Okay, so that works, but we do have some problems that we may not have noticed, and then this is partly because with the valid move. So, for example, I run this, I can put five, but that's an illegal move, so I don't want to allow that. So, I'm going to interrupt that and go back over here, and let's let's do, do let's do that. If move, so we're going to do this. We're going to make another little uh, while true. We're going to keep asking them for moves. And if the move is in the list 1, 2, 3, then we'll break out of that. Otherwise, we're going to print illegal move. All right, and then it'll go back up and ask you for what your move is. And then go back up and ask for what your move is. Until you ha until the move is in 1, 2, or 3, then you're, then you're fine. Then, then you're, uh, um, um, then you break out of it and you're down here and, and it's a valid move. So it should be a valid move at this point. So let's run. So if I try four, illegal move. Try five, try negative one, okay, uh, and so on. But I can try three and that works. Now, if you play it for a while, you'll notice that there is a problem. And I'm going to play down to here. And then I'm going to, player two, is instead of choosing one, which they should do to, make, to, to win, I'm going to choose three. And now the number of objects is negative one, and the game will never end. Okay, it'll just keep going down to negative infinity. That's a problem. Okay, so what do we do? We go back up, and we try to find how to fix that. So part of being an Ill, a, a, a legal move is being one, two, three, or three, but it also has to be the move has to be less than the number of objects. Otherwise, we have a problem. And then I, I always, you know, try that and I, and I run it um, just to make sure that that, I'm going to go down, all the way down. Let me see, can I take, so, two, two, okay, now can I take three? No. Okay, can I take two? No, but I can't take one. Good. Okay. So that, that makes sure that the, the, the move is, is, in fact, valid. So here's the entire program, starting from here, going through the initial state, getting a valid move, updating the state, showing it, checking for win status, ending the game, switching the players, and printing the game over. And that is the entire game of NIMH.